Hi, my name is Tim Waldner. I'm here at the Superior Essex Product Development Center to show you a real-time demonstration of the Alien Crosstalk performance of Superior Essex 10-gain XP CAT6A UTP cable. But first, let's take a close look at 10-gain XP cable. It may look like a shielded cable, but in fact it meets the technical requirements of a UTP cable and is designed specifically for unshielded cabling networks. You will notice that the foil tape surrounding the cable core has a break or gap. Gaps like this are distributed throughout, which prevents electrical continuity along the length of the cable. We call this uniquely designed tape an isolation wrap because it is not technically a shield, but does an amazing job of isolating the cable from outside electromagnetic interference. What we have designed is a CAT6A UTP cable that performs as well as a shielded cable, but without the need for grounding or bonding. The additional advantage is the cable is a small size. It's approximately 0 0.3 inches in diameter. Now back to the demonstration. For the test here, we have three sets of two cable bundles like this. Each of the two cable bundles are 100 meters in length and are laid up in the above cable tray around the room. And for each two cable bundle, one of the cables is a disturber cable and the other is the victim. Now the cable set number one is comprised of competitors CAT6A UTP cable. Cable set number two is comprised of Superior Essex 10-gain XP CAT6A UTP cable. And cable set number three is comprised of Superior Essex CAT6A fully shielded cable or FUTP cable. The method of test demonstrated here is the same as the industry standard test for a bundle cable alien crosstalk, with the exception of a reduced number of pairs. We've taken this approach to allow for the test to be completed in a short period of time in this video. What we'll see from this test is the comparison of performance among the three different cable types. We are using a network analyzer to generate the interference signal on the disturber cable and to simultaneously measure the noise level on the worst pair in the victim cable. First, I'll run the test and collect data for the competitor's CAT6A UTP cable. Right now, the network analyzer is collecting the data, and after all three tests are completed, it will show the comparison on the video screen on top. Next, I'll run, repeat the test for 10-gain XP cable. That's complete now. And third, I will be testing the overall shielded Superior Essex FUTP cable. Now with the data collected, let's see how they compare. The reddish looking line is the data collected for the competitor's CAT6A UTP cable. The green line is the data collected for 10-gain XP UTP cable. And the white line is the data collected for the overall shielded CAT6A FUTP cable. We can see here from between 1 megahertz and approximately 200 megahertz that the competitor's CAT6A cable is about 20 dB to 30 dB worse on average in terms of alien crosstalk performance. And above 200 megahertz, we see that the competitor's cable is still about 5 to 10 dB worse in performance compared with 10 gain XP or the overall shielded cable. If we look carefully at the green and white lines, we will see that the alien crosstalk performance between these two cables, the 10 gain XP and the overall shielded, is very close all the way through the spectrum. In summary, what we have seen here demonstrates how the Superior Essex 10 gain XP cable has alien crosstalk performance that is very similar to that of an overall shielded CAT6A cable and performance that is far superior to that of a typical CAT6A UTP cable. Thanks for viewing the demonstration and be sure to check out SuperiorEssex.com for more technical information on 10 gain XP.